What's up today, my wonderful family? Welcome back to another episode of Devotions with Demarcus. Let's get right into the word today. Today we are in Ephesians chapter 3, verse 12, and it reads, In him and through faith in him. Man, now that's so powerful. In him and through faith in him. That's powerful. See, that'll make you pause right there in the middle of the scripture. All right, but I'm going to try my best to get past it. In him and through faith in him, we may approach God with freedom and confidence. Understand, listen, that as a believer, we should have freedom and confidence when we pray to God. Why is that? Okay, that's because in him, in Jesus, and through faith in Jesus, we may approach God with the freedom and confidence. Okay, John 3, 16, what does it tell us? God so loved the world, not just God loved the world, God so loved the world. God thought you were so valuable. He thought you were worth so much. Even when you had your ears closed to God, you was out there in the world doing who knows what, doing who knows who, <laughs> doing whatever you wanted to do, right? You, you know what I'm talking about. Even when you was in those days, he still loved you. He still looked at you and said, you know what? That's still my daughter. That's still my son right there. I still love him. God so loved the world. He gave his only begotten son and whosoever shall believe it in him. Is that you? Are you a whosoever? Whosoever shall believe it in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Okay? That is why when we pray, Listen, when we talk to our loving, caring, sharing Heavenly Father, we say in Jesus' name. Because see, it's, it's only through Jesus that we are connected to our Father. Now let's read the scripture again because I think we may have a better understanding of it. In him and through faith in him, we may approach God with freedom and confidence. So now I want you to have some freedom, right? I want you to have some confidence when you pray. Because see, you are, you are connected to God through Christ. There's no reason to, when you pray, you pray all timid. Like, I don't even know if God heard me. Nah, you got to cut all that out. All right, you got to cut all that out. All right, I took a couple of notes here. You know what I mean? Took a couple of notes right here. See, I want you to think about uh, a little puppy whenever it's thundering outside. What does that puppy do? It crouches down real low and it runs behind its owner. Why? Because it feels safe there. That's how we are with Christ, okay? When you go through a situation, who do you run to? See me? I'm gone. I'm running to Christ, man, all right? I'm not going to waste my time calling friends, calling everybody, calling it. I'm, I can run straight to Christ, and so can you, right? Or think about a little kid, right? When, when something goes wrong, they, I don't know, see a scary movie or whatever, they run to the parent, right? Or they run, or they run to the person uh, who they feel safe and secure in, or a protector, right? A provider, right? Someone uh, who makes them feel safe. That's who Christ is, okay? And just wanted to share that with you, man. Hope you're having a good day out there. But look, before you go, let's pray together. Father God, we thank you for giving us another wonderful word. We just want to say we love you so much and we appreciate you. We thank you for your wonderful word today, Ephesians 3.12. It says, in him and through faith in him, we may approach God with freedom and confidence. Lord, I pray over everyone under the sound of my voice that you will give them the freedom and the confidence to approach you in prayer. Help them to be comfortable. Help them to talk to you about that thing that's on their heart, that thing that they that they have a wall up. They don't want to let anybody know about, but you already know, Lord. Help them to understand that today is the day to break down that barrier, to understand they have that freedom through Christ and they are fully connected to you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we break off any type of change, of, any type of chains of any reservations or any type of uh, discomfort. And we are free. And we love you. And we thank you for that. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Because we just learned, we just learned about that. How, how important it is to be in Jesus' name. So we stand on that, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. We thank you and we love you. Amen.
Thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Devotions with Demarcus. Hey, I love you so much. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Daily video, 6 o'clock a.m. every single day. Be sure to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every single time a video is dropped. I love you so much and see you tomorrow morning.